In this tutorial we're going to look at some of the math components in Grasshopper. So if you go to the second tab in your uh, menus up here, there's a math tab and it includes a bunch of different ways of using math to create additional numbers in Grasshopper. So some of the basic ones you can do include addition, um, multiplication, you can raise a number to a power, you can divide numbers, um, subtract numbers, and all of these work just as you would assume they'd work. So you input one number and you can add it to a second number. So for example, if we create a panel, let me just go ahead and make two quick panels. Um, by the way, if you control C, control V, you can copy and paste a component just like you would in any other program. So I'll make this one a five. Um, let's just go ahead and make this multi-line data. And then I'll make this one a seven multi-line data and then let's just go ahead and add some of these so if I add a 5 to 7 I should get 12 I'll copy and paste this panel and then we'll plug the output into the input of this panel and it will output the um, numerical value of that addition so the same thing can work for uh, multiplication division And so you'll notice I can plug in uh, one component to multiple other components, and that's totally fine. And so those are your basic operations, mathematical operations, and these are really useful if you're trying to calculate a number and then to use that number for a different um, component later on uh, downstream in the definition. Um, other things you can do are mass addition. So if I double click and type in mass addition, you can also do mass multiplication. So this just takes a bunch of numbers. So let's say I have another number here, 12, um, and I plug all of these numbers in. Remember, hold down shift if you want to plug in multiple, multiple components to one input on another component. So that'll output all of those. Um, and one thing that happens quite frequently is you'll produce, you'll do some math to make a number, and then you can use that number um, for another component later on in the definition. So I can actually add those, use the ad added uh, value, and then plug that into the mass addition to produce the final result. So you can start to really string together quite a bit of the math um, variables to produce what you want to produce. Another common use of math is to find a value that's lesser than or greater than another value. And it's sort of called a gate. So in scripting, you use this quite frequently in if-then loops and, and other kind of syntax. But in visual programming and Grasshopper, um, you'd use it to test a value, test a condition. And then depending on if the condition is, meets the criteria, you'd move forward or you would stop an operation. So in this case, we'll um, look at the larger than. Um, you'll notice there's also the lesser than or smaller than um, equality. So our two values the same. Um, and so these can be really useful. Um, but let's say we have this value, 36, is this value, or let's start with these values actually. I'll just bring these back over here, copy paste them. So 5 is 5, the value 5 greater than the value 7. And if we look at the output, um, the answer will be false. So um, if you're using that as a, way, a gate to control a definition, if this turns out to be false, it would not execute the rest of the definition. Um, if I swap these, so if I change the 7 and the 5 and reverse that, it becomes true. So that might then continue the uh, process of the definition. Another useful um, component is the negative. So if I type in negative, it just takes any number and it turns it into a negative number. So if I take um, the 7 in this case and I make it negative, you can see let me just show you what happens. It becomes a negative 7. If I plug that into this number, it then becomes false because negative 7, now that I've turned it into a negative number, is less than 5. There are plenty of other mathematical operations you can do. Uh, modulus is a handy one, which basically just removes or takes the remainder of a division um, between two numbers. Um, you can also find square roots and cube roots and um, you know different powers logarithms. Um, one useful one is under the scripting. When you get into Grasshopper, uh, more advanced Grasshopper, you can actually write your own C-sharp scripts and, and uh, VB scripts. Uh, and you can also write in Python. 
um, all these components are basically scripts that other people have written. So you can start to create your own components. And when we get into third-party plugins like this one up here, Grasshopper or Kangaroo, which I've installed, um, those are all components that are, are scripted by other people and then installed into Grasshopper. So you'll, you'll get into that at one point. Um, as you become more advanced with Grasshopper. Um, but you can write very basic uh, scripts with the evaluator expression. So for example, if I click on expression, you can actually type in the formula you want to use for that component. So let's say I want to take um, X uh, and I want to add it. So I can hit X plus Y. OK. Um, then this will actually take these two values, X and Y. So if, if my x is 7 and my y is 5, it'll compute those two values just like the addition component would do. So the answer is 12. But of course you can write any um, formula you want in here. So you can do very complex formulas like parametric circles and use the formula and then create that output without having to string together multiple components. The one thing to be aware of here is that these values right here need to be the values that you use in your formula. So if you um, go in here and you right click and change this to like A, um, it's not, well it usually doesn't work, but you just have to make sure that you're matching up those values with the values you're using within the, the component. Um, if there's an error, then that's most likely the issue that you're running into.